Hello everyone welcome back to my channel Geomatics Engineering and in today's lecture we are going to learn about how can you export a stacked satellite image with only selected number of bands in Google Earth Engine so let's start with the tutorial and here i have opened a Google Earth Engine script and let it rename as a export stacked image now the script name is changed and before starting the tutorial our first step in Google Earth Engine is to select your area of interest. So for area of interest in the asset section I have already a shape file that is named here as a AOI for analysis and just by clicking on this arrow you can import this shape file into the script. So here the shape file is imported successfully with the variable name as table and now I am giving this table shape file a new name as a AOI. So variable AOI is equal to table and make this AOI as a center object. Center object will work after when the code is completed and you will run the script. So center object will help you to zoom on that AOI area. So for creating this AOI as a center object we have to write a function that is map dot center object and within these bracket we have to write this shape file name that is AOI. And now our next step is to define the date range. So when we have to define a date range there should be a start date and end date. So for that we are creating two variables here. The first one is start date and within this start date so I am taking the February month the whole February month of 2023 from 1st Feb to 28th Feb. So I am taking the 1st Feb as a start date and our next variable is end date. So I am taking the end date as 28th Feb. So we have defined the date range for our satellite image collection and the satellite we are going to use is Sentinel 2A imagery. So our next step is to import the satellite imagery. So for this we have to create a new variable. So here I am creating a new variable with the name as collection and within this we have to write a earth engine dot image collection here i should be capital now it turned out into a blue color which shows that the function you have written is correct and within the bracket we have to give the collection code for sentinel 2 imagery so for that we have to search for sentinel 2a imagery and here we can see that the collection code within these brackets just have to copy it and paste within these brackets we have provided the image collection code and next step is to create a boundary for this image collection. So our boundary is already defined that is this variable AOI. So we just have to call that AOI here within this function filter bounds. So within the filter bound function we have to write the shape file name that is AOI. And again our next step is to create a filter date, date range for this image collection. So we have already defined the date range that is start date. So we just have to copy this variable start date comma end date. Now our importing the satellite imagery part is done and our next and important step of this code is select the band because the stacked image that we want to export within that stacked image we just want to have some limited number of bands. So for that we have to select those bands that you want to export in the stacked image. So for that we have to write a comment that our next step is select band and for selecting the bands I am creating a new variable that is variable bands and within this we have to define a list which contains all the band names that is available in this image collection. So for this current image collection I am taking only blue, green, red and near infrared band. So our blue band is band 2, green band is band 3, red band is band 4 and near infrared band is band 8. Now the band selection part is done here and again our next step is to create a composite image, composite or a stacked image within these selected bands only. So for that I am commenting it here that we are going to create a composite image from the image collection with only the selected bands. So again our next step is to create a new variable which I am giving a name as tag and within this I just have to call this image collection which is collection and within this collection we have to select the bands that we have described above and after the band selection we just have to create a composite and for composite image creation I am using the mean function and again I am creating a new variable and giving it 
name as a composite and for composite image creation we need this stacked image and just do the mean analysis for this tagged image and also do one more thing that clip it with the AY boundary. So our two steps are done here in a single line. The stacking of this image collection and clipping it with a boundary. Now our code is almost complete. We just have to once add this in a map layer to visualize that is everything is fine or not. So for that I am taking this composite image for visualization and within visualization parameter I am leaving it as blank and for map layers I am giving it name as composite and just click on run. So when we click on run we can see that the center object function is working here for zoom where the AOI is available and now we can see that these images are visualizing here but we didn't given any visualization parameter so it is appearing as a black. So now change the visualization parameter from here in layer sections. So I am taking the band selection in FCC which is 8, 4, 3 and stretch this band range and click on apply. Now you can see that a tagged having only 4 number of bands FCC images visualizing and now this layer is the final layer for exporting and now we have to export it. So our next step is to export the tagged image. For that we have to write the function that is export.image.todrive because we want to export it in Google Drive. Make sure that you have space storage space available in your Google Drive before exporting any of the image or output from Google Earth Engine to Google Drive. So after export.image.todrive we have to define some exporting parameters within these curly brackets. So what parameters we have to define? So firstly the image that which image you wanted to export. So we wanted to export this composite image and convert this composite image into float by writing a function dot to float and next next key is description that what name you want to given it while exporting. So I am giving it as stack image and our next key is scale. So sentinel 2a image we are using. So I am giving it as 10 meter and here the error symbols came out because we are defining a dictionary and after every key value pair you have to give a comma. That's why it's showing error. And next key is reason. So for which reason you want to export this image. So our reason is AOI. And next key is file format. So file format is going to be geo tiff. And the final key value is CRS that is used to define the projection. And for that we are going to use EPSG43. And now we have defined all the exporting parameters and the code is completed here. Save this code and then click on run. And when you click on run you can see in the task a new unsubmitted task is appearing here. So you just have to click on run and the task name is showing that the name you are writing there should be no spaces. So I am separating with the underscore and the drive folder name you have to describe where you want to export these images. So I am writing it as sentinel 2a and now you have to click on run. So it will take some time for exporting these images as depends on your internet connection also. So after exporting this image it will turn into blue and then you can check this image within your google drive folder and download it from there. So I hope you all understand about this code from Google Earth Engine like how can you stack any image collection for only selected bands. So if you are liking this video please let me know in the comment section and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.